Hello there, and welcome to another exciting episode of Beauregard Regards, where yours truly invades the homes of your favorite celebrities. I'm your host, Beauregard Lawrence. Today we're at the home of Huntington Beach funk rockers, Rocket's Dead Glare. We all want you! We're gonna hear all about the making of their exciting new record album. And stay tuned, because there's going to be a huge reveal. Let's go meet the group. So, Rick, do the perpetrators have any demands? What is it they seem to be after? You know, Jane, this might sound crazy, but it seems like they're trying to eat human brain. Hello again. We're here with Rocket's Dead Glare, a musical band from Huntington Beach, California. On the left, we have leading singer and guitarist Nick Nicholi. Then we have bass playing singer, Jeff Feuerhaken. And rounding out the group, we have percussion drummer, Dustin Keeney. So, dudes, you recently released a very impressive collection of musical songs. It's called Rocket's Dead Lair. How about that? That is something. I mean, look at it. Look! So guys, how did you first become a musical act? Um, Dustin and I had actually played music together for <clears throat> for years, and when our last project fell apart, we uh, you know we knew we keep wanted to keep playing, and uh, I knew Jeff had played in bands for years. He just moved in with one of our close friends, so uh, I hit him up and just asked. You know, I knew he was a guitar player, but just asked if bass might be something he's into. And he showed up to the studio one day. I think pretty much by the end of that first session, we had a uh, a good idea that it was going to click and it was going to work pretty well. So. That is fascinating. Fascinating. Mm. No, guys, hang on one sec. Oh, sorry, guys. It's my mom. I gotta take this. Hey, mom, how's it going? No, everything's fine. I haven't seen the news. What's going on? No, everything's fine. I'm just at home right now. It'll, it'll be fine. I'll call you later, okay? Just relax. All right, bye. Are, are you finished now? Are you finished? Where was I? So Jeff, is it true that you have never played the bass guitar before joining this musical group? Yeah, good I... for you. So, Dustin, can you please describe your song making process? Uh, you know, I think it's pretty simple. Basically, Nick comes in with the tunes to practice. Um, we all just kind of jam on it. I start playing drums on it. Jeff fills in on the bass. Um, and we just kind of improvise from there. We all jive pretty well together. And man, I think after that, it's just freaking that is some splendid stuff. Very, very splendid indeed. Did you hear that? What do you think is going on? Okay, we have no time for your petty distractions, okay? Let's be professional here, okay? Hmm? Okay, so, can you please tell me what the record making process was like? That must have been very interesting. Uh, we go to our buddy Jim Moreland's studio up in Tribuco Canyon right there. And it's pretty cool, man. He's got a nice little place out in the, you know, almost in the middle of the woods, you know, get away from things and uh, get some really great drum tones. And we took that mix from there back to our studio and together we tracked guitars and bass went back to his studio and did vocals, backing vocals, and we sat on those mixes for about, I don't know man, a couple months probably actually of just, uh, just going back in and adding stuff and taking stuff out and after about two or three months I think we had, you know, the finished product the record that uh, you listen to now. Wow! That is the big time right there! That is the big time! So, I heard you also made a musical movie video for one of your songs. And you directed that, Jeff? Yeah, um, actually... Well, aren't you special? Roll the clip. We all want you! That 
was extraordinary. Well, everything except for the directing, which was dreadful. Did you guys see that? What the hell is going on out there? You guys, I think we need to get out of here. Are you kidding me right now? You want to walk out on my show? I interviewed Dustin Diamond. <laughs> Screech. I interviewed him. Okay, so here it is. The big moment, the grand finale you've all been waiting for. It's time for the huge reveal. <laughs> If anyone finds this tape, just let it be known. I would like my ashes smelted into gold, sort of like a powder. And spread over Mount Everest during a double rainbow. Riding white 